So at the beginning of the film story, we are told that a virus called rage has spread all over the city, due to which people are turning into zombies and killing each other and eating each other. Then we are shown a small house in which there were six people who were saved from the virus of zombies. Among those people was a man named Don with his wife Alice, an old couple and two other people. Alice was cooking some food from the leftover items in that house. Don was very upset to see the situation outside because he had sent his children to France on a school trip. Actually, this virus was spread in the same city, Britain. This was the reason that Don's children were safe from this virus. Here everyone was sitting at the table of food. There was complete darkness in their house. All people do not talk to each other, and there was no noise of any kind. Then a door of his house starts knocking loudly. He says, please let me come in. Open the door. Save me. Actually, this was the voice of a 10-year-old boy. Hearing the voice of the child, Alice says that please we should open the door. We let that child come in. When they open the door, we see. It was afternoon outside. They had only made darkness in their house so that no zombie could see them. They now put the child inside and give him something to eat. Upon questioning, the child says that my mom and dad have become zombies and are after me. They were coming to eat me. Don asks how many people were there. He says a lot. Don also, who were two more people, the girl was very scared of them and starts peeping outside. She could hear the sounds of many zombies coming towards her from a distance. Then a zombie suddenly comes and attacks that boy directly. There were a lot of zombies around and they also try to come inside. Alice was going up to save that child. Don also comes behind him. He tells Alice many times that leave that child, Alice, we have to run. But she does not listen to Don. There, that old couple were hiding in another house outside, but they too could not escape the zombies. After that, where Alice was with the child in the room, there were also a lot of zombies there. Don was in the other room. He calls Alice, look here towards me, come to me. But there were so many zombies in the middle that she could not compete with them. Then seeing this, Don also closed his door. Alice was calling him again and again. Where are you, Don? Help me. But Don closed the door on the other side and ran out of the other door. There were many more zombies behind him who were running towards him hungry. We see Alice, whose voice had now stopped coming to help. Don was crying and running in shame that he left his wife Alice, did not help her. Going ahead, he finds the same boy in the pond who was living with them at home. He falls into the water in a hurry while rowing the boat. The zombies had also caught that girl and finished her to death. Don was the only one left who was sitting in that boat and going. Then the story is shown to us a month later, in which it is said that the zombies are slowly dying because of hunger. Now the army force was in control of this city. She was trying to control all this. Then we are shown a Sergeant Doyle, who was in the sniper team. As soon as he saw the zombies, he had to shoot them with his gun and kill them. Don was also saved by the army. Six months had passed like this. Now the zombies were also very few somewhere. In the meantime, we are also shown a doctor who was studying this virus. Now the people who were stuck in other cities start the army program to bring them back to their homes. But still, everyone had to stay in the safe zone, not in their homes. The doctor who was in the control of the US Army Force, there were about a hundred people who had returned to their city, Britain. They also had Don's children. When the doctor sees the children coming back, she gets worried because she was thinking how these children will be taken care of. The doctor now tests Don's son, in which she sees that his eyes were two colors, that is, half of his eyes were something and half was something else. The doctor asks him, do you have someone else's eyes in your family? Don's son says, yes, my mom's, that is, Alice's eyes were blue. When Don meets his children, he was very happy. He was actually still living in the safe zone and working with the army. That's why he brings his child to the place where he was living. He also tells his children about the incident that happened to his mom, Alice. While sleeping at night, Don's son was dreaming of his mom. He feels that maybe he is forgetting his mom's face. In the morning, when Don goes to work, his children quietly ran out of the safe zone and reached their home while running so that he can take a picture of his mom. 
Then the army also finds out about them that two children have escaped from the safe zone. But by then, they were both at their home, where Don's son was hearing some sounds from the upper part of his house. When he goes up and looks, his mom was there. That is, Alice, whom Don had left in the middle of the zombies. Don's son had hugged his mom. That's why he is in pain. When both the siblings come out of their home, they see that there was an army force who had come to take them back to the safe zone. All three were kept in quarantine there. Alice is tied up and kept in the lab. The doctor tests her blood. She wanted to find out if Alice was also infected with the zombie virus. Then they find out that Alice was infected, but her immunity was so powerful that the zombie virus did not affect her. That's why she hadn't become a zombie yet. But because of her blood or any other reason, other people could have been infected with it. That is, if any person stayed with her, he would become a zombie. Hearing all this, the army general decides to kill the doctor because he felt that Alice could be a threat to everyone so that no one else gets hurt because of Alice. But the doctor explains to the general that look, Alice's immunity, her genes are very different. We can make a vaccine from her blood. Now, when Don finds out about all this, that his wife Alice is alive, he goes to his children, but he was angry with him. He says that dad, you were saying that mom is dead she has become a zombie. So how is she alive? Don was very scared to hear his children because he only knew the truth that he had run away from Alice. That's why he goes to Alice first and cries and apologizes to her. Now, as soon as he gets a little closer to her, he suddenly screams and trembles and suddenly turned into a zombie. Alice screams for help seeing his condition, but now he also kills him in a very dangerous way. Then after that, he goes out and attacks the army people. The doctor took Don's children and ran towards the safe zone. But Don had also come towards the safe zone. And after hearing the screams of the people, he starts breaking the door on the other side. Don's son sees him and runs away. He went and hid in an AC vent. The screams of the people were coming from below. Don was killing them and turning them into zombies. Then the people who were turning into zombies were turning other people into zombies. There was chaos everywhere. Everyone wanted to save their lives and run away from here. Then the snipers are also alerted, but it was very difficult for them to understand who is a zombie and who is not. Then all of them are given the order to kill everyone. Hearing this, the sniper dial that we saw at the beginning of the story, he feels very strange. Because he had to save people, he had to help them, not kill them. He sees that a zombie comes in front of Don's son whom he shoots and kills, but he did not kill Don's son, so he leaves his duty. A man had brought Don's son to his room where it was very dark. There, he met his sister and the doctor. There were many other people here besides them. The old woman is very upset to see the outside and says that why are they killing everyone? Then the dial comes here, which tells everyone to leave from here because it was not safe to stay here. When everyone starts leaving from here, the army also fires at them, in which the old woman died. The doctor and Don's children were with the dial. Then the dial gets a call from his friend who was in the army and had a helicopter. He says, look, in a while the whole city has been ordered to fly with a bomb. Come to the location where I'm sending you and meet me. I will save you. Now all of them come out of a tunnel. Then there was a big blast. The army had blown up all the zombies or survivors in the safe zone. The dial runs away with the doctor and the child. All of them had come to the place mentioned by his friend. Then the dial's friend also comes with a helicopter. He tells the dial that some remaining zombies are coming after you. Hearing this, the dial tells the children and the doctor to hide. His friend sees so many people and says, look, look dial, I have been told to take only you. If I take any surviving civilian by saving the city, then the army will kill me too but the dial does not go alone with him. He wanted to help everyone. That's why he sends him alone from there. Then there were a lot of zombies behind them. They run and come towards the city. In the city, the army had left poisonous gas to kill the zombies, because of which the common man could not breathe there. To save him, they go and hide in a car. Now, all the zombies were coming around their car and attacking them, but because of the gas, the zombies die there. There were also people of the army behind who were coming to finish everyone here. The dial and the doctor's car were not taking the name of starting. 
Then the dial comes out of the car and starts pushing the car. But he had come in the eyes of the army. The army also kills him by considering him infected. The doctor had saved the children, drove the car and reached the tunnel. But when he comes there, he sees Don's zombie. He had also killed the doctor here. In the meantime, Don's son and daughter also separate. Don had attacked his own son, but his son also had the same power as Ares, because of which he also does not turn into a zombie. That's why Don's daughter comes and kills her own dad with a gun, and she cries a lot. These two brothers and sisters had reached the stadium, where the same Dial's friend comes who had a helicopter. He looks at those children and thinks whether he should save them or not. Maybe he is not infected, but still he saves them. And he had taken his helicopter out of Britain. We are shown the view of the city, then we see after 28 days, where the remaining zombies had reached the city of Paris through a tunnel. And what happened to Don's son and daughter? Where did they go? We were not told about this. With this, the story of this movie also ends here. Thanks for your time.